Hello guys and welcome to DTW GED Prep. So in today's video I'm going to be teaching about understanding the plus and negative sign rules in maths, okay? And we're going to be doing it across uh, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. We're going to be doing these examples to help you understand the sign rules, okay? Plus and negative sign rules, all right? If this is your first time on this channel, please click the subscribe button, all right? This is a fairly baby new channel. Please support me to grow by clicking the subscribe button we are here to support you in your GED prep okay in your maths and um, in the future also in your sciences okay so please please try to click um, the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be instantly notified of every video we upload here as we are here to complete the GED syllabus all topics with examples solving them up solving them all all right so and um, you'll find several um, topics already solved on the channel which you can watch also all right so thank you thank you for staying Stay tuned and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share with your family, friends and loved ones. And if you want to join our Facebook group and WhatsApp group for free online GED math uh, classes on Zoom, I'll leave the link in the video description box of this video. Okay, so let's get on to the class now. So here um, we have multiplication. So when you have this example, okay, minus 9 times uh, positive 4. Okay, this is a negative 9 times a positive 4. Now, remember, for any number, let's say you have 10 here, the sign is always, the sign that this number takes is always in front of it, not um, after the number, in front, before the number, not after the number, okay? Because that's where people, that's one um, um, confusion, uh, the signs also cause, okay, to some people. They feel the sign that is assigned to the number is before the number. No, it's always as after, uh, sorry, uh, after the number, but no, it's always before the number. So when you just see just a number 10, the sign of this number is a positive, okay, because, you know, you don't see any num uh, any sign by it when you don't see any sign by any number the number is what a positive what number okay but when you see a sign that you have this a negative uh, 10 so this is a negative 10 when you see this 10 uh, minus 2 for this number here this is a positive number okay when you don't see any sign in front of a number it means it's positive but here this uh, the sign of 2 here is a negative what 2 okay let me just i just want to point that out before we continue okay because i see a lot of students are confused about this so now let's get on to this example so our first one we have here we have a minus nine times a positive four now when you're multiplying the numbers will multiply all right so what is nine times four nine times four is what 36 okay the numbers will always multiply themselves all right but now for the sign when you have a negative multiply a positive okay no matter if nine is bigger or or bigger than four or four is smaller than nine you're you want in the multiplication you focus on the sign not the number which is bigger or smaller okay um in addition we're going to talk about that okay but just in multiplication now a negative times a positive is always what a negative okay where you have a negative times a positive will always give you a negative a um a negative times a negative will always give you what? A positive. And a positive times a negative will always give you a negative. And a positive times a positive will always give you what? A positive. Okay? So, if you have a negative times a positive, it will always give you a negative. If you have a positive times a negative, it will always give you a negative. And if you have a negative multiplying a negative you always get what if the answer is what a positive this is a key rule you have to what understand all right so here the negative times the positive will give us what a minus so we have here our minus what 36 this is the answer for this now we have this this is what will be the sign a negative a positive times a negative will give us what a negative and nine times four will give us what 36 so the answer here is what minor a negative or 36 or a minus 36 so here what we have the signs we have here is nine is taking a, having a negative four is having a negative so we have a negative times a negative from this our rule here will give us what a positive and what is 9 times 4 is what 36 here as we said as i explained earlier on the signs here is what a positive and what a positive so a positive times a positive is still a positive you need not write it okay 
this um, positive 36 is also the same as what 36 okay so we have uh, let's just put the positive then 9 times 4 is what 36 and our answer is what 36 a positive 36 now let's come to what division now in division also this um, rule also applies okay now we have here a negative dividing a, a positive will always give you what's a negative and what is 9 divided by uh, by 3 it will give us what what's 9 divided by 3 it will give us what's a 3 now here we have a positive dividing a negative will always give us what's a negative it's just like saying here we have minus 9 over 3 which will give us what a negative or 3 and here we have a positive 9 over a negative 3 which will give us what a negative 3 so here is a negative 3. Now here we have a negative dividing a negative is going to give us what a positive because we have a minus 9 over a minus 3. This negative will cancel out this negative and we are left with what a positive or 3. Okay, so you see the division also follows this rule. So make sure you have this um, in, your, in your mind. Okay, okay, you have this at the back of your mind. So we have negative times a positive will always give you a negative. A negative multiplying a negative will always give you a positive. A positive multiplying a negative will give you a negative and a positive multiplying or dividing a positive will give you a positive so here our answer is what three and here we have a positive and a positive the answer will be what nine divided by three is what three okay all right so this is for multiplication and division now for addition now this is where uh, you, we have to play with which number is bigger and which is smaller all right follow me closely now for addition, when you have a negative 9 plus a uh, 4, okay, this is a positive 4. First of all, what I advise people to do is, what is the biggest, uh, what's the biggest number here between 9 and 4? 9 is bigger, right? What is the sign that 9 is carrying? 9 is carrying what's a negative. Just quickly drop that negative here. Okay, so the way to know the operation you perform, okay, since you have several signs here, is still under the same rule. Okay, now where you have a negative and a positive, you have a negative and a positive, you are going to perform what? A negative, because a negative uh, multiplied by positive is what? A negative. So we apply subtraction. So we say 9 minus 4. What is 9 minus 4? That will give us 5. So our answer here is what? A negative 5. You can see the first thing, what is the big, uh, the bigger, the, what's the biggest number here is what? 9. What's the sign 9 is carrying? Negative. That would be part of your answer. Then what operation are we going to perform? We are going to what, subtract. Since a negative and a positive would be, would do, we are going to have what? A, uh, a minus that. Well, that's, that is a, that is subtraction. Now, follow me closely still. Now you have this. A 9 plus a bracket minus 4. Now, definitely, we have to open the bracket here. A positive times this negative inside here would give us what? A negative. Okay? So, we have here 9 minus 4. All right? Which is equal to... And uh, 9 from here, the biggest number here is what? 9. And what sign is it carrying? Is a positive. So, we are going to have a positive. What is 9 minus 4? That's 5. So, a positive 5, which is the same as what? 5. Now, let's go to this next one. We have a negative 9 plus bracket a negative 4. Let us open this bracket. A plus multiplying this negative here. What are we going to have? We are going to have a negative. Okay? So, we have minus 9 minus 4. All right? So, you have minus 9 minus 4. The first thing you do, the biggest number, which is 9, what is the sign? Put the sign here, negative. Okay? Then, what operation are we going to perform? Now, come here to our rule. We have, when we have a negative and negative, okay? When you multiply them, you get what? A positive. So, we are going to perform an addition. So, we say 9 plus 4. So, what is 9 plus 4? 9 plus 4 is what? 13. Okay? You can see this, all right? Don't worry. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comment section and I'm going to respond to, to, respond to you, okay? If you have any questions, feel free. I will quickly respond to you to, to give you the answer. And don't forget to join the Facebook group and the WhatsApp group to 
you know, if you have um, several questions, uh, you can just take a picture and send on the groups, okay? And here we have just a 9 plus 4, okay, which is quite straightforward. 9 plus 4, the biggest number here is 9 and carrying a positive uh, sign. So, and what is 9 plus 4? As you see here, when you have a plus and plus, you do what? An addition. So, 9 plus 4 is what? 13. So, this is an answer, a positive what? 13 okay now let's go to subtraction so when you have this a negative 9 uh, minus bracket a positive 4 let us open up this bracket a negative times this uh, positive will give us what a negative so we have a negative 9 negative what 4 and what would this give us when you have uh what's the biggest number and what sign is it carrying it's carrying a negative sign right okay so we drop a negative here and what operation are we going to perform when we have a negative and a negative we perform what an addition so we have nine plus four which will give us what 13. okay now here we have a positive nine minus brackets minus four this negative times this negative, to open up the bracket, the negative will multiply this negative here. So we have what? A positive 4. So we have a positive 9 uh, uh, plus, that positive, uh, sorry, plus what? 4, okay? So here, what do we have? The, the biggest sign here, the biggest number is carrying the sign positive. And what operation are we going to perform? We are going to perform what? An addition. Positive times positive is what? An addition. So we perform an addition. So we have 9 plus 4 will give us what? 13. All right. So here we have a negative 9 minus bracket a negative 4. Let us open up the bracket. This negative times this negative would give us what? A positive. So we have a negative 9 plus 4. So what would this give us? The biggest number here is 9. What sign is it carrying? It's carrying a negative. So drop this down. It's going to be part of your answer. And what operation are we going to perform? When we have a negative and positive here, when we have a negative multiplying a positive here, we do what is subtraction. Okay. So 9 minus 4 would give us what? That would give us a 5. All right. So our answer here is negative 5. And here, which is just straightforward, a 9 minus 4 will give us what a positive 5. So this is our answer. All right. So thank you for staying tuned to the end of this video. All right. I hope I hope this helps out because I promised to do this video earlier on. So, and don't forget to, if you have any questions, please drop in the comment section below. And don't forget also that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Give your life to Christ. For he is the way, he is the truth. He is the life. He's the one who will lead you to life everlasting. Okay? That is life after death. There's a place after death. All right? And he's the one who will lead you to heaven and help you even to live a holy and righteous life on earth here. It's not by your power. It's not by your might to live a holy and righteous life. It's by his grace and it's found in Jesus Christ. So come on to him if you are labored. You are heaven laden with any troubles. He would give you rest. All right. Come on to him today. All right. Thank you from DTW Tutorials. Don't also forget that you are destined to win in Christ. All right. Thank you and see you in our next video.